Hi, this is Jeremy from Gap Power, and we're going to take a look at the different types of pressure washers from Shark that we carry at Gap Power for sales and service and rentals. Um, in front of me here, we have the cold line of Shark Mako pressure washers. On the left side here, we have a Honda GX390 13 horsepower engine with a 4,000 psi 4 gallon a minute pump. We have the 9 horsepower GX commercial Honda engine with the 3500 3.3 gallon per minute pump. And again, these are all triplex commercial pumps from, from uh, Shark. Uh, the third one here is a 6.5 horsepower, still the commercial series Honda GX engine. Uh, the commercial triplex pump, this one puts out 2700 psi at uh, 3 gallons a minute. And the uh, last one here we have is a, a homeowner version. Uh, this is going to run the GCV engine with a triplex pump here on the bottom side. Um, and this one's primarily a homeowner light use uh, pressure washer here. We also have the hot pressure washer. This runs the same 13 horsepower engine that the cold water unit does. And it runs the uh, triplex uh, pump. The heater here, this thing will run up to about 100 and increase incoming water temperature, 150 degrees. So you get in that 200 degree range when you're running a uh, pressure washer like this. There is a heat dial over here on the side. You can set it from a little bit of heat to a lot of heat. Most times people that are using this just have that cranked the whole way up. Um, it is a hot pressure washer after all. Um, the on switch for the pump, uh, for the heat coils is right here. So the pump has to be running in order for the burner to fire. Uh, and this unit also comes as an electric start. Uh, we do sell this unit here. Um, we do a lot more with uh, rentals and, and that sort of thing on this unit. This is the largest cold water pressure washer that we have from Shark in the Mako lineup. It's powered by the commercial grade Honda GX390, the 13 horsepower uh, single cylinder Honda running the uh, commercial grade triplex pump right here. This one's putting out 4,000 PSI at four gallons a minute. Uh, great for heavy duty cleaning applications, uh, equipment, uh, caked on dirt because you have that four gallons of flow. That really makes a big difference when you're pressure washing. The amount of water plus the pressure uh, really makes a good, uh, good pressure washer. Uh, this one here also comes with the commercial uh, wand, the hose. Uh, all of the pumps from Karcher in the Mako lineup have the uh, external unloader right here. And this allows the, the water to circulate while the trigger is not pulled so that you, it doesn't heat up so fast. That helps to cool the water as it's sitting there running without pulling the trigger. It just gives you a little bit longer run time when you're not pulling the trigger to have this kind of uh, unloader on here. And again, that's the true of all of the uh, Mako commercial uh, pressure washers from Shark. This is the next pressure washer in the lineup, the GX279 horsepower, again with the triplex pump. This one puts out 3,500 PSI, about three and a half, 3.3 gallons a minute. Um, still some heavy duty washing, similar to the large one, uh, comes in at a little better price point. Uh, on this one. Next we have the GX200, it's a six and a half horsepower commercial engine, pa powering the Karcher commercial pump giving us 2700 psi three gallons a minute this is the primary uh, unit for doing uh, decks and houses and and light duty work um, great for cars and that sort of thing uh, in our rental fleet this is probably one of our most popular units in addition to the 4000 over there for the heavy duty applications the 2700 and the 4000 are the two that we uh, do run in our rental fleet um, and two of the most popular ones that we sell as well. The last pressure washer in our lineup here in cold water units is the homeowner version of the uh, other pressure washers in the Shark lineup that we have here. This one runs the GCV Honda engine. Uh, it's more of a mid-range homeowner engine. It's the same engine that they use on the Honda lawnmowers. Uh, and then it's coupled with a axle style pump paired underneath the engine. Um, again, a light duty, use engine and pump around the home projects, washing vehicles, uh, a great one to own um, for just periodic use. Uh, it does come with the uh, soap injector and all that good stuff for uh, applying soap while you're pressure washing as well. So let's take a look at the hot pressure washer from Shark. This is the 3500 
PSI, three and a half gallon a minute unit, powered by the 13 horsepower engine, comes with electric start, burner assembly, burner control. This is the largest in the cart size uh, hot pressure washers from Shark. Uh, they do make other models that are less pressure, less PSI, of course at a lesser price. Um, this unit here will keep incoming groundwater from 50 degrees, it, it raises at 150, so you typically have about 200 to 210 uh, degrees uh, coming out of this pressure washer right here. Great for removing grease and grime off of uh, you know, buildings, concrete, equipment, um, whatever uh, application you might have there. Uh, it does have a temperature control on the side here. Um, most times it's run at full temperature um, and you're on switch and off switch right here. So when you pull the trigger, the burner ignites. When you let the trigger go, uh, the burner uh, turns off. Uh, the burner only runs when there's water flow so that it doesn't overheat. And this one runs the same Shark commercial triplex pumps that the cold water units. One of the main benefits of the uh, Karcher hot pressure washer is the type of burner system that they're using down here. This is the burner with electrodes right here. And the benefit, instead of having a bunch of wires on the inside, it is a solid state burner. When you pull this off, it's just a layer of epoxy and it's a solid state. There's not wires going everywhere. And they have a terminal block on the inside where uh, short wires just connect right to the terminal block. And it's a very simple setup, very easy to work on and understand. And, uh, and, and it works very well and very efficient and uh, very few repairs on this type of a burner sim assembly from Shark. We're gonna take a look at some of the features of the Shark Mako series lineup. Uh, one of the major uh, benefits of a pressure washer like this is the all aluminum cart. Uh, from the bottom here to the handles, everything's aluminum. There's no paint, there's no rusting. Um, the next thing we have is the flat free tires. So there's no air in these things, they're solid foam. Uh, never go flat even when they're sitting for a long time. Uh, we've seen that as a great benefit once we started carrying this line that uh, haven't, haven't had any issues with the, uh, with the wheels. Uh, it comes with a standard uh, commercial grade gun, a 50 foot heavy duty hose with quick connects all around. Um, you also have the soap injector on the inlet side here. Um, when we're using this one here, we're going to be putting on the soap tip like this. It runs at a low pressure so that when you put this into the soap solution and spray with this tip, it'll, it'll draw the soap through here, it'll spray it out, and then once you've applied it, you're going to switch to a higher pressure tip, either a white or a green or a yellow, something like this, and then at high pressure, you'll, you'll rinse it off. have to be in low pressure in order to use the soap injector. On the back side here, we have these soap tip uh, holders. This is where all the soap tips are kept. The soap tip, the pressure washing tip. We have a 40 degree, a 25 degree, and a 15 degree. How wide the spray is, and then a red one with just a straight shot for reaching up to hard to, to reach places. So we're gonna start taking a look at the Shark pumps, the cartridge pumps that are on all of the Shark commercial pressure washers. It's the triplex pump. There's three pistons in this pump. Uh, and this is one of the best pumps out on the market and certainly a great uh, pump paired with this Honda engine. So let's take a look at a, a cutout here of the cartridge pump. Uh, we start with the crankshaft that comes directly off of the engine. We got your connecting rods right here going forward to the ceramic pistons. All pumps, all good pumps use ceramic uh, pistons to create the pressure and the flow. Uh, one of the most important aspects of a pump is the uh, seals, which are right here. Uh, you also see the uh, check valves right here, so the water's flowing in the top through the check valve, through the pump's creating the pressure and pushing it out the, out the bottom. Um, again, going back to the U seals here, one of the most important parts of a, of a pump is the seal, right here and right here. Uh, if we look over here, we can actually see a cutout here and here. Uh, one of the most important things about the cartridge pump is that they use U seals instead of a V seal. So if you look closely at this seal here, you can see that the U seal touches the ceramic piston for the entire width of the seal. A V seal only touches at the one point where the V comes up and hits the uh, ceramic piston. So two sets of seals here, one here, one here, U seals. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to run up to 185 degree water and you also get longer life out of this type of seal than you do a V seal or uh, some other types of seals. Um, so when this thing is, is spinning, the plungers are moving back and forth, water's coming in the top through the check valve, 
the the ceramic piston is compressing it it's pushing it out the bottom and that's what's creating your pressure and your um, flow in the back here you can see the oil reservoir right here is the uh, sight glass so your oil level is always about up to half full uh, of non-detergent oil so that it doesn't foam up uh, your fill cap is right here on the top um, along with a gauge to show you how full it is you can also sight it from the uh, sight gauge on the side there.